Today I'm going to go over the ESP32 cam. This is a microcontroller that is, has a lot of features and it's really quite remarkable what you can get for only about nine dollars. Uh, compared to an Arduino if you had to add all of these features and shields it would just be a lot bigger project. So I'll put a product link in the description below for the exact camera that I bought. And then you can always head over to my blog, madscientistguy.com, for a complete tutorial. So in a nutshell, it is a, comes with a camera, a micro SD card, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi enabled all in a single package. And that is great. And it's really quite small. Now one thing about the ESP32 cam is that it does not come with a USB connection. And so there you have a couple of choices. What I did is I purchased it with this built-in USB shield. And basically this is an FTDI adapter. Now it just presses in through the header pins and so when I'm done I can either leave it as is or I can remove it and then supply power through the power inputs. The camera is approximately two megapixels. And so this makes it uh, good enough to do a, a lot of applications such as a security camera or a webcam or anything else that you happen to do. It also um, allows you to uh, log on securely doing uh, Wi-Fi passwords. So in this video, I'm going to go through how to create a Wi-Fi network and to look at some common troubleshooting problems. The first thing we need to do here is install our libraries. So go to uh, File Preferences in the Board Manager, and here under the Additional Boards Manager URL, you want to add a comma under your last entry, and then enter in the link to the Boards Manager for the ESP32 and I will have that in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. Now the next step is to add the board itself and we just go in here and type in ESP and then install the uh, boards manager from Espresso. Okay so now that we have our libraries installed in order to get this example sketch here, simply go over to File Examples and then now you will see a variety of ESP32 uh, example sketches. And so if we just uh, ex do this ESP32 and go to Camera and Camera Web Server and then we can get going with this one. Now once you've got the example sketch, you want to go into the Enter Your Wi-Fi Credentials area and here you want to change the SSID and password. So the SSID is simply the name of your network and then the password of course is your secure password. And then once you do that you're ready to upload the sketch. The next step is we have to select the correct board. Now for the boards that I bought it's the AI Thinker ESP32 cam and I've also tried some others. Some work and some don't. So you may have to play around with this a little bit until you get your right board. The next thing you need to do is select the collect baud rate. So open the serial monitor and select 115200 as your baud rate. If you don't, you will get errors. So here's an example of the, some of the problems you would have. Notice here that I have 9600 baud. What will happen is you'll just get garbage in your serial monitor. We are now ready to compile and upload the sketch. And one thing I want to point out here is that this takes considerably longer than a standard Arduino. So don't be surprised when it takes, you know, maybe up to a minute to upload. But you'll see a progress bar as the time goes by. All right, let's plug this board in and give it a try. Okay, so as you can see, we have an address 192.168.50.55. So take the IP address in the serial monitor and type it directly into your mobile phone. And then go to the bottom and, and select Start Stream. So depending on your device, you can change the resolution and you can go up to an HD image. So just go up here to the resolution, select something else, and then I'll turn the phone sideways and you'll see it will fill the entire screen. 
So that's how you can get started in just a few minutes and create your own web server with the ESP32 camp. I hope you found this helpful and please subscribe for updates.